all right so it's a collapsed core network these are the collapsed core switches and this is the access switch we must understand how the svi switch virtual interface or inter vlan is working in this lab we already know that the layer 3 switches has a feature called inter vlan routing or svi switch virtual interface it's the logical interfaces in a layer 3 switch that are associated with individual vlan so as soon the vlan has been configured in these two switches collapse core switch 1 and collapse core switch 2 it's very simple first we have to register the vlan in both switches collapse core switch 1 and 2 and then we have to assign ips so in collapse core switch 1 i have assigned the ips for each vlan with the dot 1 and subsequently same way for the collapse core switch 2 i have configured with dot 2 subsequently for all the vlan please keep that in mind for a layer 3 switch assume the ip has been assigned in both switches that's all that's all you needed you do not need any further routing protocol to do the inter vlan routing to communicate with all the vlan you have configured the ips and that's all you're ready to go because these are routable switches if it is a layer 2 switch in the state we know that layer 2 switches does not have the routing capacity then in that case we need routers here that could be configured as the router in a stick we are only talking about this layer 2 configuration up to this downlink of both core switches is our layer 2 configuration there is no ips here both core switches so nothing much to show here there is no routing protocol at all show ip interface brief as soon the vlan ip has been configured ports are up in both switches and in the client pieces it should be able to ping and here's a quick picture of the switch virtual interface configuration for inter vlan routing in simple technical terms it means without a physical port with a virtual port the switch uses its routing engine to route between the vlan so take a look here this is the core switch one with the help of show ip interface brief it shows the vlan ports are up protocol means layer 2 which is data link layer status means layer 1 which is the physical layer in a osi model both are up that means my svi ports are up so from core switch one i'm just testing if i have the end-to-end -end connectivity to the vlan 10. this pc the VLAN 20 PC has a IP address of 2020-2010. I can ping. Same here in the course switch 2. If you notice, the same command, layer 2, the data link layer, and the physical layer, and layer 1, both are up. My SVI ports are up, so I should have the end-to-end -end connectivity. So from course switch 2, from this switch, I'm pinging this VLAN 10 PC that has a IP address of 10, 10, 10, 10. Yes, I can ping. Okay, let's dig a little deeper now. I'm going to the VLAN 10 PC, which is this one. Again, it has the IP address 10, 10, 10, 10. So now from this PC, since I have the inter VLAN and SVI feature running in both of the collapsed core switches, switch one and switch two, I should be able to ping the VLAN 20, 30, 40, basically all VLANs. So let's ping only VLAN 20. Yes, I can ping. If I do a route trace, Notice it's going to the switch one first where VLAN 10 is configured with dot one here. Then it's going to the destination, which is here. So that's the next hop. So we have tested our inter VLAN routing is working. Now, if I turn this switch down, I would be still able to ping the VLAN 20 or other VLANs because I have HSRP load balancing enabled or configured in both switches. Now that's totally a different topic. Let's test it. Again, VLAN 10 PC. Now there will be a slightly packet lost, but we will wait for it. I'm executing the same command, tracert.10, which is this PC. Notice this time, since the primary switch is down, it's routing to the secondary switch. From the secondary switch, it's coming to the VLAN 20. Now to understand this, how HSRP load balancing or HSRP hard standby routing protocol works, which is a must in this type of collapse core design, please watch my video in my channel, Cisco HSRP route trace, switch failover and DHCP failover. Please watch this video, how to configure HSRP, or you can also see how to configure track IP. Also, Cisco HSRP route trace, how to trace the route, how to understand that the HSRP protocol is working and running in the production network. Please watch these two video. Thank you.